this is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Ever since Wales lost a game at Murrayfield for the first time in 1926, they viewed this famous Scottish ground with a certain trepidation. The record of later defeats bears this out, but when this year's team took the field, they were more sure of their chances. Scotland, so recently defeated by France, are not unconquerable. Scotland in the darker vests kick off, and their aggressive opening play is soon to bring results. In the ninth minute, Scotland went ahead with a drop goal from Simmons. Ten thousand Welsh supporters had made the journey to Murrayfield. Their money wasn't wasted. Wales recovered magnificently. <laughs> Wales nearly brought off a drop goal too, but the equaliser came from a penalty. T.G. Price made things level. Soon, pretty obvious that both teams were well matched on almost every cut. In fact, for sporting, hard hitting rugby, it'd be hard to beat. Now it's Scotland's turn again. They went ahead with a penalty goal by Wilson. 6 3 to Scotland, but the lead changed hands no fewer than four times. S.J. Watkins touched down for a try. E.G. Price gave the Welsh a two-point lead at the interval. Two points up, but only halfway home, so Wales went all out. Another three points from another penalty goal. Then a Scottish penalty reduced the Welsh lead to two points. Soon afterwards, a Scottish drop goal left Wales only one point ahead. Wales held on grimly to their narrow lead, with the Scots fighting valiantly right on their own line. Then from a line-out, Wales are over with Gale touching down. Victory for Wales by 14 points to 12. They're leading in the championship table, so it must be either Wales or Ireland for the Triple Crown. <laughs>